Today I'm going to be reviewing this WinX 5502. It was first released back in 2018 and since then it's become a major bestseller. It's recommended by Wirecutter and tons of people on Reddit. Now if you don't want to watch my full review, here are the five things I really like about this device and the three things I don't. The first one is it has great air cleaning performance for the price. Found for less than $160, it still managed to clean our test room of all PM1 pollutants in just 20 minutes. The gas filter and particle filter are also completely separate, which is much better than the bonded design we see in many other manufacturers. It has a removable pre-filter, which makes it much easier to keep on top of keeping it clean. And it has a decent amount of activated pelleted charcoal considering its price. Finally, it has some of the best priced replacement filters on the market. Now the things I don't like, the first one is the plasma wave. It uses ionizers, some consumers don't want that. It can lead to dust buildup, so, but at least it is optional on this device. It also runs quite loud. It hits 58.9 decibels at its highest fan speed, which is a little higher than some of the other devices we've tested. And the final thing is it's also more energy intensive, especially compared to the newer devices we've tested. Right, let's jump into the full review. So let's get on to the design of this device. As a pretty traditional air purifier design, uh, the, the filters are at the front of the device. This just makes it easier to remove. Also means you can have a removable pre-filter. The air is pulled through inside here, so it goes through the filters and then clean air is fired out the, out the top of the device uh, through the air vent at the, at the top. Um, I like the color, it's, it's fairly dark. Now if you prefer white, there's the WinX C545. If you prefer gray, you've got the WinX 5300. Um, personally, this would be the color that I would choose. The control panel itself is, is really simple to use. So you've got the main control here, you've got on off. Uh, modes, auto and sleep. Sleep obviously switches the lights off, reduces the fan speed to its lowest setting. Um, plasma wave, it doesn't require you to hold the button down, you just press it once, press it once again to remove. It has four fan speeds, so one, two, three, four. Uh, and then some timers, three, three options for timer, one hour, four hour and eight hours. Now it does, the auto mode on the device is controlled by the smart center at the, sensor at the top of the device. So this detects pollutants in the air. It's gonna change the color of, of this light in, in the middle, and it's also gonna adjust the fan speed so those devices, uh, so those pollutants can be removed quicker. Now it also does come with a remote control. Now I haven't actually taken the battery out of mine. I'm super concerned. I've got kids three and six, and I just read some terrible stories about the batteries in these type of remotes. So I've just kept it in the basement and away, but if you, you know, if you don't have kids that are going to eat batteries, then be sure to use it. Now, it's a fairly simple design on there. You've got the turbo, auto, and different fan speeds. So it just gives you the option to use it from afar if, 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 you, if you like that. Now, a, a minor thing that I really like about this device is that it makes a little tune when you switch it off. And the same when you switch it on. This seems to be common in Korean appliances. We have a washer, LG washer, and it does the same thing, even more intricate sound every time the, the washing is cleaned. And at first it was a little annoying, but after a while you kind of like to hear it. And certainly, I know it doesn't affect the performance of the device, but it was something that I found interesting. So maybe you will too. Now for every review we're doing, I always like to look at the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers to see if the KDAR test is publicly available. Now Winx is really good about this. All of the devices, they send them to AHAM for a KDAR test. And the Winx 5502 has some great scores. So it has a dust KDAR of 243 CFM, smoke 230. 32 CFM and pollen 246 CFM, which is really impressive considering the price of $160. Now based on these results, if you want 4.8 air changes, you're looking at the max room size for this device would be 360 square feet. So if you do have a larger space, you may need to use multiple units or you might be better off looking for a bigger device with a higher KDAR score. Now as you look on the AHAM KDAR report, you'll see that it is a little bit more power hungry than other devices we've looked at. So so the WinX 5502 had an annual energy usage of 296 kilowatt hours per year, whilst the Vital 200S, a new device from Levoit that we've re reviewed recently, was 222 kilowatt hours a year. When it comes to filter technology, I think WinX has it over Levoit when it comes to the way they've designed their filters for the WinX range. Uh, 
Lavoie actually combine their particle and gas filters together and, and that makes it really challenging because it means if your carbon filter needs replacing you have to throw both of them away. In comparison, Winex keeps all of the, the gas filters separate from the particle filter. So that means if this carbon filter is no longer working, then I can change this out, keep my original particle filter, and the device will still keep running, but I'll still get some more life out of the particle filter. And this is great for loads of reasons. You know, it reduces the amount of waste we send to landfill, but just as importantly, it reduces the amount of money you need to spend on replacing your filters. And like I said, carbon filters especially in, if there is issues with odors and gases in, in, in your area, they're gonna need replacing more often. So having that flexibility to change them, it's, it's, it's a game changer and certainly something that is a big benefit over even the very best Lavoie devices. Now, the, the, the particle filter itself is high quality, but more importantly, it's washable. So you're able to wash this filter every three months. You use a cold, warm, but not hot water and you need to make sure that you let it dry fully before putting it back in the device. Now you still need to replace the filter eventually, they recommend every 12 months, but as I always recommend to most people, you know, use your common sense. If it still seems to be working, there's no reason to, to, to keep buying new filters if you don't need to. Now, the one big benefit of this device uh, over devices like the Core series is this removable pre-filter. Now Winex says that you need to clean this every 14 days and I'd have to agree with that. We, I've never really thought about it before but we tested a device with a dirty pre-filter and it was massive the, amount, the, re the reduction in its air cleaning performance. It was actually as high as reducing it by 40%. So anything that makes it easier to do that is, is, is a major win. And this pre-filter is easy to remove, easy to take away and, and use. Now talking about filters, we have the whole issue with the Better Business Bureau, Dyson making a complaint and then Lavoie removing the term HEPA from all of their marketing. Now it, initially it was just a few units and now it seems to be their entire range. So I don't know what was going on there, but it's not a good look. When I went onto the Winex website, I noticed that they said that it was true HEPA. But more importantly, they referenced a third party independent lab test that does say that this is uh, the, the grade filter that they say it is, which is true HEPA. Now, as I mentioned in a previous review for the Lavoie, air purifiers don't need HEPA grade to be an effective air purifier, but still, I don't appreciate when manufacturers tell us one thing and then change, change the thing on the website. It's not a good look and it certainly makes me lose a little bit of trust in the brand that's doing it. So seeing Winex being aware of this issue, saying, look, we're not just telling you it's true HEPA, but we've got the third party independent lab study to back it up. It, it, it's a win in my book and certainly uh, my trust is building with Winex. Okay, let's jump into the real world performance test for the Winex 5502. Now it has some great KDAR scores, but we know at House Fresh we can't just take these KDAR scores without question. We need to test this device in the same room that we tested all of our air purifiers. It measures 728 cubic feet. We use a purple air laser sensor to track how well it removes incense smoke from the room and we track the levels of PM1, PM2.5 and PM10. We have a computer program that connects to the purple air indoor sensor and allows us to create a graph to see how quickly this device can remove these particles from the air. Now the results for the Winex were impressive. It took only 20 minutes to remove all PM1 pollutants from our test room. Now this compares really favorably with other devices we've tested. So for example, the Blue Air 311 Plus took 21 minutes but cost $349. The Core 400S at over $200 took 22 minutes. The Breathe Smart 75i took 24 minutes at a whopping $749. And even the IQ Air Health Pro Plus took 24 minutes in comparison and cost nearly $900. Now it was beaten for pure performance by the Lavoie Vital 200S, but that is our best device of this year. So it's really not a bad thing. And it was still within the range, uh, the same cleaning range. What's interesting when we look at this data that actually the Winx 5502 is the cheapest device when compared to similar performing units, which makes it really, really impressive. Now I mentioned before about Plasma Wave and many people don't want to use it for lots of different reasons, whether it's accumulation of dust or they have sensitivities to any sort of ionizer. So I wanted to make sure when we tested this device, we also tested how well it performed without the Plasma Wave. So many of my readers will want to use this device with Plasma Wave, so what can they expect? When we tested it in the same room, doing the same job, it took 23 minutes. So it's clear that the plasma wave does have a positive effect and it reduces the speed of cleaning particles from the air, but if you weren't gonna use the plasma wave, it's still gonna be an effective air cleaning device. 
Now, another bit of feedback we got from a review here on YouTube. So please, if you have feedback on ways we can improve our tests, let me know. I will implement them and it will make reviews better for everyone. They mentioned that most people aren't going to want to use it at its highest fan speed because that's fair, especially with this device. It runs quite loud. We'll get to the sound test later. Uh, so I made sure to test this device running at speed three and I was impressed by the results. It only took 27 minutes to remove all PM1 pollutants which considering that speed three is much quieter than speed, the, the, the top speed, this is really effective. And I have to say, overall, our performance tests match up with those really impressive KDAR scores. It's clear that the WinX device is a very effective air cleaner, which is impressive considering it's found for such a low price of $160. So I'm starting to understand why this is a device that's recommended by so many people and decent publications. Whilst air cleaning performance is the main thing to look for when choosing an air purifier, it's not the only thing. And the second most important thing is the amount of sound that's generated. If an air purifier is great at cleaning the air, but it sounds like a jet engine, it's unlikely you're gonna to wanna to use it. It's gonna be switched off and it's not gonna do any help. So that's why we always use a sound meter like this at three feet away to see how much sound is generated at each of the fan speeds. Now, as of this year, we've been recording all our sound tests, so you can have a look for yourself, but here are the results. So at speed one, it was 38.8 decibels. Now be aware, the background noise in our location is quite high, so it may be lower than this. Uh, speed two was 42.5 decibels, speed three, 47.5 decibels, and top speed, speed four was 58.9 decibels. Now sound can be very subjective. Now for me personally, the highest fan speed was a little loud for me to be used on a regular basis, but please, have a listen for yourself. As I said earlier, this device runs a little louder than similar powered devices, but it wasn't excessively loud. If we compare to other devices we tested, the Allen Flex was very quiet at 50.7 decibels, the Miele hit 59.2 decibels, Smart Air SA600 52.5 decibels, the Austin Healthmate 61.5 decibels, and the biggest comparison to it, which is the Lavoit Vital 200S, was 57.7 decibels. So the difference isn't massive, but this still was subjectively loud. Now an air purifier will generally be left running all the time so you need to make sure that it doesn't use too much energy which is why we use an energy meter like this to see how much energy is pulled at every fan speed. And here are the results for the WinX 5500 too. So on standby it used 0.34 watts, at speed 1 6.5 watts and 7.1 watts with plasma wave, speed 2 9.11 watts and 9.2 watts with plasma wave, speed 3 14.8 watts 15 watts with plasma wave, and speed four, the highest speed, 53.46 watts, and 53.8 watts with the plasma wave. Now I made sure to include the energy usage with the plasma wave just to really see how much energy it used, and it's clear it wasn't that much extra, especially at the lower fan speeds. Now at its highest fan speed, assuming that you run this device at the highest fan speed 24-7, 365 days a year, it's gonna add an additional $81 a year. Now we compared this to the other devices we've tested. So with the Allen Flex, it used only 24.2 watts. So the energy running costs were uh, $25. The Blue Air 311, which is a kind of forced ionizer setup, had 38.32 watts, so $40 extra. The Lavoit Vital 200S, the device that we're very much many people will be comparing this to, was 44.55 watts, so $67.95. And the massive Austin Healthmate, which to be fair to it, uses a large carbon filter, but uses a whopping 147 watts equals $155 on energy cost per year. So it's clear, and as I said at the start, this is a little more power hungry, especially compared to some of the newer devices we've tested. So I would like to see WinX with future upgrades, look at if there's anything they can do with the motor to reduce the amount of energy used, because Lavoie have managed to do it with the Vital 200S. I'm sure you guys can do it too. It's not just energy costs that add to the running costs of running an air purifier. Any type of mechanical filter, carbon, HEPA, any sort of filtration will need replacing eventually. The way that they work is they trap the particles and gases inside the material and eventually there's so many trapped inside that the filter stops the airflow and becomes ineffective. Now for the WinX device, the manufacturer recommends that you need to change the filters every 12 months. So you need to change the carbon and the particle filter. Now looking at the prices today when I produce this video, they're currently priced at $43.90 for a particle filter and a carbon filter. 
Now, I have to make you aware that it's an RRP of $79.99, so when you might go on to buy the OEM filters, they might be higher cost, but I am using the cost right now when I'm producing this video. Now, if you go down the generic route, they get even cheaper. So if you're willing to buy two filters at a time, you can bring down the yearly filter cost for this device to just $15, which honestly is probably the lowest I've ever seen for any air purifier that I've reviewed to date. Now, this is one of the big benefits of a device like this, the WinX 5502. It's been out six years, it's very popular, it's well recommended. There's many customers running these devices. So the market for new filters is a lot bigger than devices that have only just come out or that haven't got the, 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 the scale that there is with a device like this. So you really do get some long-term benefits for choosing a popular device over, say, a new device that no one's heard of. Now, I wanted to do some comparisons with the filter costs and also the running costs of a running device with some of the other devices we've tested. So we've got the Allen Flex. Now, this uses a combined uh, particle and carbon filter. It costs $69 a year. Brings the total running cost to $94 uh, total for the year. Miele, one year of filter cost is $138. Now these are combined carbon and uh, HEPA, uh, and th that total running cost is $178.28. Now the Levoit Vital 200S, they recommend replacing the filters every 12 months, but again, this is a combined carbon and uh, particle filtration. $49.99, which brings the running cost to $96. Now the Molecule Mini, a device I'm not a big fan of, one year of filter cost is a whopping $199.98, which brings the total running cost for this device to $264. In comparison, the WinX, it has you know, one year of filter cost at $43.90 is really one of the lowest OEM filters we've seen, which brings the total running cost to $125 a year. But be aware that many of the devices I'm comparing to, they have this combined particle and gas filter. So in, in, it's most likely that you're gonna get more longevity with the filter design of the WinX devices than you are with devices from Lavoy, Allen, or Miele. So what do we think of this device? Is the WinX 5502 still worth it in 2024? I mean, it came out in 2018. It's over six years old at this point. But there's a reason why Wirecutter and Reddit are regularly recommending this device. And that's because it's a really effective air purifier, especially when you consider its price. It performed as well as some of the best air purifiers we've tested in our test. And whilst it's a little loud at fan speed four, even at fan speed three, it was effective at cleaning the air. Now the plasma wave will enable you to clean a little bit quicker but it's also not a requirement. As our test shown, by switching off the plasma wave, it only added a few more minutes to the amount of time it took to clean the room. Now, the only downside is really the amount of energy it uses, which adds to the long-term running costs, and which is a real shame because the filter costs for this device are some of the cheapest on the market. And I really appreciate the fact that the filters are separate. It means you're gonna get a lot more longevity out of these filters, and it's gonna cost you a lot less in the long term. So if you are concerned about gases and odors and are not ready to spend the $700, $900 on devices like the Austin or the IQ Air, then this device is definitely worth your consideration and really worth your consideration for any real use case. Now, if you don't like the design, there's a lot of other WinX options that you might want to check out, like the WinX C545 in white or the WinX 5300 in gray, although it has a not so good particle filter. Now, if you want to get this device or you have any other questions about this device, leave them in the comments. If you want to support our channel to help us buy new devices for testing, please use the links in the description and, and I'll see you in the next video.